everyone and welcome to August and um, before I start I just want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers and um, all the lovely people who have commented and liked videos and shared them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. This is quite a new thing for me to be doing so it's quite small um, at the moment so I really appreciated that extra boost to begin with. So, um, And I know that some of you are hoping to get readings so I'm going to do the draw to get do the free readings thing to see who wins um, in just a minute. Uh, but I just want to say I might not be doing this again immediately, but I am thinking of doing it quite regularly. So we'll see when I get around to doing it again. But um, thank you so much for taking part and please keep commenting and liking and, and um, participating because it all helps and it just keeps that nice flow of reciprocity going, you know, give and take, which is really, really lovely with these things. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to just go straight into this now and just let you know that I had a look at the videos and if you weren't expecting or hoping for reading, you can go past this bit. So the sign that, did, uh, that gave the most likes was Virgo and the sign that gave the most comments was Libra. So I've picked, I uh, had a look under the videos and there was only one person who asked for a reading under the Virgo uh, video and that's Tara Mills. So there's, you know, it's just you Tara and you've won a reading. So contact me please using, uh, you can use the link under the video and then go to my website and use the contacts page there. And um, so we've got Libras. I've picked the names of the people who asked for readings from Libra. And I'm going to just pick one of those. You can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, Spirit, you guide me. Okay, here. Right. So we've got, I knew it was going to be that one. That's right. It's Sawenika Reed. Okay, so Sawenika, can you please get in touch with me and. Um, we'll um, sort out a, t uh, a reading, just get some questions from you, that's all you need to do is to just contact me, let me know it's you and uh, I'll get some questions from you and record your reading for you and it will be posted up on the channel soon. Okay, so um, welcome to August everyone. Uh, July was a very interesting month, <laughs> as they all are at the moment. I hope you enjoy your reading, I'm going to get straight to it now. Thanks for watching, bye. Hello lovely Gemini and welcome to August. Hope it's going to be a fantastic month for you. This is your forecast. So you've got the sun in um, sun in Leo and the new moon solar eclipse in Leo which is for you the third house. So there's going to be a lot of energy on your thinking this month. There's going to be a lot of energy on changing the way that you think. You might find yourself changing your mind about something an awful lot because the eclipse, eclipses can be very unpredictable. Um, so you might find that you actually change your mind from day to day about um, a particular issue that you're trying to resolve. However, the overall theme and the overall result for the month is that you are going to have to have a shift in thinking in order to achieve some kind of change that you want to have in your life um, on a practical level. So um, that will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, really interesting. So you're going to have, uh, in the ninth house as well, you're going to have some kind of um, pull in that direction. You need to get very clear about what you believe. You're going to be changing what you believe. Thinking and believing are going to be very closely connected for you. And, oops forgot to start the timer, you'll get an extra minute or two. So thinking and believing, and I know that sounds like an obvious thing to say, but it's not the same thing because thinking can be almost habitual, thinking can be very unconscious, thinking can be um, absorbed by other people around us or our upbringing, or we can be programmed in our thinking. What you believe goes right to the core of who you are. And it's in some of your beliefs, and your beliefs will inform your habitual thinking. So it's like you're going digging down deeper, digging down deeper than ever um, 
in this month, sort of from the end of July to the end of August, to figure out, you know, what needs to go in terms of beliefs? What beliefs are you hanging on to that just actually don't serve you? You're going to have to be a bit unusual, Gemini, and that is good for you because you like change, you like things to be a bit unpredictable, but you're being asked, and it's, it's one of those words that is so overused sometimes, but you are a maverick. You are being asked to think differently. You're going to be asked to think very, very differently. With an eclipse, um, you know, a, a solar eclipse being added to this new moon, it's really about you being asked to change. And it's for you in the area of how you think. So let's see what will support that for you. Also, just thinking about manifesting, what is it going to mean to you to change the way that you think? to decide what you really believe, to cut away old beliefs and to decide what you really, really think. What will it look like? What, how, what sort of person will you become when you change your beliefs? What are those beliefs? And, and when you let go of the beliefs that are not serving you, how will your life look? That's what you could work on manifesting. If you, um, I'm gonna link to my manifesting video Hopefully I'll remember. If not, you'll find it on my channel. And that's what you need to be manifesting at this very, very powerful new moon solar eclipse. So change, what changes in thinking? How are Gemini's changes in thinking going to affect the overall um, outcome for August? So I'm stopping there. Past, present, future. Okay. Great, so Angel of Abundance, a steady flow of abundance is about to manifest. So I feel as if this is something that you've been working on coming up to this point and that you've had a glimpse of it and then it's gone away and then you've had a glimpse of it and it's gone away because they're showing me the eclipse and it's like, now you see it, now you don't, now you see it, now you don't. So um, it's, about, it's about trusting um, as you go into this next period that you can sustain that vision because it does feel as if things have improved and things have been steadily improving um, even though it feels as if you're going you know two steps forward one step back remember that you are still moving ahead which is really great so a steady stream of abundance manifesting and where are you going now so as we come into this period in August We've got Goddess of Compassion. Self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth. And this card seems to be a bit of a theme at the moment for a lot of signs. So what you need to be focusing on in terms of changing your mind, in terms of getting rid of those old worn out beliefs, is you need to be focusing on letting go of any language that you have first of all language because the way that we speak you know it's like we're, we continue program programming ourselves don't we no one else has to even do it anymore it's going to be about changing the way you speak about yourself and about your life this is fundamental and really important because they're showing me a big mouth and Gemini is all about communication. Geminis do like to talk. You've got that mercurial thing going on. You like to talk. Some Geminis like a bit of a gossip, not all of them. But sometimes in that, stuff just comes out that you don't necessarily want to come out or mean for it to come out. And sometimes that stuff is with regard to you. Trying, putting yourself down, trying to make people feel better or, you know, just saying stuff that just isn't really true about you even or about your vision or your goals or what you're trying to do. Let go of anywhere that you are affirming anything that you don't want. And I know sometimes it's easily, more easily said than done and no one can be 100% perfect at that all the time. We're all on a learning journey. But this is what the message is for you this month. This is what your change needs to be about. So self-compassion, no more self-criticism, uh, okay? Just self-belief and self-worth. And I know that's easy to say as well, but at least self-belief. So the beliefs that you need to let go of are definitely limiting beliefs that you've had about yourself, about what you can do in life, and about what you deserve even, about who you are, about what you have to offer in the world. So when you do your manifesting meditation at the new moon, you need to be thinking, I'm ready to embrace change in this area. What does it look like? What does my life look like 
when I decide now to start thinking differently about it and about myself and about who I am. This is major. All the astrologers are talking about these eclipses and I'm just getting a really strong push from my guides now to say to you Geminis very strongly, this is a very powerful wave of energy that you can ride in terms of changing your beliefs about yourself and starting to think differently because your thinking will influence your actions and your actions will shape your life and your destiny, they're saying, okay? So what you're moving into, um, what seems uh, an injustice is actually a blessing. So you're moving into a period where you will start to see that things that have happened recently that you weren't necessarily all that pleased about, let's just say, were actually the perfect thing to happen because they've given you the opportunity to see things differently. They've given you the time and space to start thinking because this period of thinking has been absolutely necessary for you. This period, this time, this space that you've got, whatever it is that you're, you're in now that you're coming into that's led up to this eclipse time, that's given you the preparation, it absolutely had to happen. There's no doubt about it. There was a shift that was needed in order for you to be able to stop and take stock and look at, okay, something needs to change here. And as always, more often than not, it's to do with something that needs to change within us because that's how we're creating the reality around us. What do I need to change? How did I get here? I got here through my thinking, obviously, because my thinking has determined my actions. So what do I need to change about how I think? And therefore, you need to be jumping out of your comfort zone, Gemini. You really do. I've just seen that really, really clearly. And I've got a feeling I might be saying that to more than one sign this month. Um, embrace the new in terms of your thinking and then ultimately in terms of your actions. So what's the advice for you? The advice for you is to do some clearing. Okay. So this clearing, this kind of, this again, you know, and this, you're not the only sign that's had this, you, it's, it's about mental clearing sometimes. So you might benefit from doing some kind of work, some kind of belief change work, some kind of energy clearing. Thought patterning is what I'm just hearing. It's thought patterns that you need to change. And clearing the space around you, clearing your environment, clearing your mind, even for some of you, it's going to be um, doing some clearing in terms of relationships. And I know that sounds brutal, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you cut ties with people. It might just mean that you get clear about what the relationship means to you and therefore how you are now going to think differently in order to make it work. Or what the relationship can mean rather than what society says it should mean. So it's going to be again that maverick thing, that whole energy comes in of thinking differently and realizing that you are creating your reality. It's up to you how you're going to think about things and see and perceive things. It's not up to anyone else, okay? No one else needs to have any kind of influence on how you think in order for you to live your life. That's going to be a really key one, a really big one for you that you might just say, right, what I want to manifest this month is trusting my own thoughts, my own thoughts and ideas about things and being the master of those thoughts and ideas and therefore making sure that old beliefs are no longer dominating those things, okay? So, yeah, if I'm going to be programmed, then I'm going to pro program myself, but consciously, okay? Outcome. Angel of Union, how lovely, absolutely gorgeous outcome. It says, a partnership is blessed and destined for greatness. So basically, in order to make a partnership succeed, Gemini, you are going to need to change your way of thinking about that partnership. Let go of formality, let go of judgment, let go of tradition, um, you know, change the way that you perceive it and make it yours, remake it for you, you know, in a way that really suits you and serves you. The thing is, we're talking about paradigm shift here. That's what all this adds up to. Letting go of old beliefs, stepping into new thinking, clearing, you know, clearing, repatterning, um, 
and being, being compassionate towards yourself and seeing the blessing in everything. We're talking about a huge paradigm shift and it's not just about relationships, it's not just about a one-to-one -one relationship. For, for single Geminis, it could be about how you relate to other people, it could be uh, about how you, know, you come into a union within yourself, how this allows you to feel more united rather than to be sort of split about everything. Remember we talked about that changing your mind constantly at the beginning. This is what's going to help you to come into union within yourself, to stop criticising yourself and to adopt a whole new way of thinking about things. Um, for some Geminis, I actually feel, because I've got this sort of nauseous feeling, and that tells me that there's been some worry, there's been some anxiety about something, so I don't want to make light of any of this because... You know, and I know Geminis are kind of among the overthinkers of the zodiac. So, because um, that mercurial energy, that can burn you up if it doesn't have a good channel. So, it could be good for you to get into some physical exercise to get this energy out of your body. But you also do need to be thinking in terms of um, staying calm, breathing, maybe some meditation that will also help you with that thinking, that overthinking. Okay, so I'm going to pick an angel card for you. It's all looking really good, Gemini, I have to say. Whatever you choose, whether you choose, you know, this path of union with a person or union within yourself, or whether you just become more connected and more confident in wider society, because that's what that will allow you to have. Turquoise is what I'm hearing, and I'm being guided right here. Intuition. Trust your intuition and know that what seems logical may not be necessarily right. There you go. So, I mean, that's a fantastic, it's kind of just, just sort of reiterates everything that I've said there. That, you know, it seems as if there's a logical right way to do everything and to think. But this is not what this time is about. In order to follow a truly sacred path, we have to trust our inner knowing about things, even if they don't seem right or sound right or make sense to others from the outside. Um, the answer to your question lies inside your heart. Endless possibilities exist for you. Stop trying to work it all out and feel your way through. We, your angels, will guide you. Trust your feelings. What feels right is right. Okay, so regardless of what it looks like or what seems logical, what feels right is right. Okay, Gemini, I hope that helps you. I feel as if I've kind of uh, given you the same message in several different ways, but it just feels like a message that you really needed to have. If you'd like to get a bit more detail or a bit more insight on that, do um, go to the link below the video and come and see about having a reading with me but I feel that's given you a lot. Obviously it's not going to resonate to every single individual but if you want to go into more detail about your particular situation then we can look at that in a reading as well. Okay so that's it, have a fantastic August and I'll see you again in September. Bye!